Hello, this is uh, King Cadmos. Uh, and yeah, hello, Spider Army and people who aren't the Spider Army. Uh, <laughs> this is 10 Smartest Animal Groups. And I say groups because um, cetaceans are not. They're cetaceans are. Okay, whatever. Just go ahead. Octopus. Now, this is a really cool video game called Octodad that you should play, but come prepared, it's pretty hard. So, a lot of you guys have probably heard that octopi, octopuses, I will, okay. From now on, the plural will be octopussy. That's, that's gonna be the plural from now on. Got it? Okay, so, um, ah. Uh, okay, out of getting that, uh, out of the way, we're gonna, say, I'm gonna tell you that, um, they are very intelligent and have a very widespreading use of tools. However, uh, some people have theorized that uh, evolution of sapiens intelligence basically can occur without uh, so societies and culture, like alone species. And like, um, but this usually isn't the case. I mean. You might say, okay, it's going to evolve to de develop its own tools, and one day there will be a species where an individual is capable of building a spaceship. That's really cool, but that's probably hmm, not going to happen, because a lot of resources are basically needed to build like the tech advanced technology from a wide variety of locations like it's not so much a difficulty in labor because you can machines can dig machines the problem is that these resources are all around the world and one person or octopus in this case can't be everywhere at once spiders now this only made it to the list because i am a spider there's a really cool skin if you ever need it except you can't get it but uh uh from from this video but the point is yeah, yes, yeah. um, <laughs> the, the point is, spiders are, uh, spiders are actually more intelligent than you might think, but, uh, not the kind that build webs and stuff, uh, it's like, I heard it's like the, if there's, it's the predatory jumping spiders who, um, they don't build, they don't build webs, they just hunt, hunt their prey, jumping around hunting their prey. And that's, yeah, that's like mesothelae, and I'm a mesothelae, so, uh, spiders are cool. Um, uh, but yes, they are probably more intelligent than you'd expect. And this is Barack Obama, just kidding. This is, uh, graffiti, this is Barack Obama apparently wearing some strange face paint. <laughs> but okay, uh, lizards, now... I would put monitor, monitor, either monitor lizards, tegu lizards, which are like the, monitor lizards mean something like the Komodo dragon, which I hear the biggest lizard actually, <laughs> and the tegu lizards of South America who are way less well known, but they are said to be more intelligent, but based on their so societies, and that's something I agree with, I do believe that, um, there's this association there. And some people actually favor animals because based on a few experience where they outperformed many birds, birds and mammals. But because I couldn't come to a decision basically, I've all lumped them under one and the end result of this is them being placed lower on the list pretty much. Okay, seven, raccoons. There's Rocket Raccoon from the upcoming movie Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, is it upcoming? I think it's already out. But the point is, uh, raccoons are, um, also, uh, experiencing inte great intelligence, great tool use, and also about octopi, octopus, octopussies, octopussies, it's not octopussy, you have to add an S at the end of it no matter what, it's octopussies, they, um, they are also the most intelligent invertebrates. So are you asking, why are they placed lower on the list than spiders? Because I'm a spider, that's why. 
And, uh, okay, back to raccoons. They are... I think I actually spelled raccoons wrong. That's embarrassing. But, um... Oh my god. Uh, they they ha they are omnivores, which is definitely striking their favor, and also advanced tool use. But they have the same problem: uh, not very many social groups. They're, uh, mm, I mean, they don't live. They some, they usually don't have any social groups. Um, pigs. There's a zombie pigman in Minecraft drawn to be in real life, which made him about ten times scarier than in Minecraft. But, uh, is that, like, another pigment uh, emerging from its chest? Uh, okay, disturbing, but, okay. That's a, obviously that's a pig. Uh, uh, pigs are, um, pretty intelligent as well. Many people think they're, like, dirty, dirty, but the reason they roll in mud is that they don't emit sweat, which I guess is what... That's why its guts are falling out. Just kidding. But the point is, uh, they don't emit sweat, so in the heat they have to roll in mud, or they'll they'll end up looking like this guy. So that's why they put always put the mud in one corner, so they don't get like dirt. So because they're actually very concerned about cleanliness, and um, obviously that's not the only reason we think they're intelligent. Basically, same story: tool use, and also now societies, corvines. Mm, this, by the way, this isn't from an anime, though it looks like some cool steam steampunk. Uh, I could write a story, like, I'm not very good at animations. I could write a story about this girl, but, um, the, maybe I'll do that sometime, but, uh, <sighs> this is just a wallpaper, but the point is, uh, we've all heard that crows can be, uh, also gather in societies and probably build, um, uh, uh yeah, uh, technology, technology and stuff, and, uh, once I heard the joke that they, f well, it's not really a joke, it's that they're, they'll, they'll drop acorns on the ground, I mean on the street, and cars will run over, over them, and then they'll grab them, so they've actually understood the idea of safety, so, so don't say jaywalking anymore, because these people are actually stupider than jays, birds. And now for another smart bird, parrots. Now, there's a, this is, by the way, is from a really cool guy. I'm not gonna give a shit, I probably don't need to give a shout out because he's more popular than me, but, <laughs> but um, on DeviantArt, I think is what it is. And um, uh, he was saying what would happen if parrots evolved into intelligent, but that's not important. What I'm saying is, is how intelligent parrots are right now. And what I have to say about them is, um, there's a myth going around that they don't understand language, they just repeat it. Uh, this, frankly, isn't true. They actually do understand it. And, um, that's not how, pop, this is where pop culture happens to be wrong. They actually do understand it, understand language and stuff. And in fact, they've been shown to pass it on to their children. So in the show off, and yeah, that's why in the show after us, it said that human voices will still be heard possibly millions of years after humans are gone. Yeah. That's more disturbing than beautiful, really. I'm not talking about you, sir. Uh, that's a Loxodon from Magic the Gathering. And this is called Loxodon Smiter. The, the card, but whatever, that's not important. The point is, what I have to say about elephants is, um, a really interesting thing is that, uh, have you heard elephants never forget? It's true. Their memory is really sophisticated, and they've even had cases of, uh, I'm not even kidding here, post-traumatic stress disorder. But the point is, okay, uh, they do develop very wide societies, and they, unlike a lot, ha unlike the next s group on the list, actually have manipulating parts. You see, these, if, if I made Magic the Gathering, Loxodons wouldn't have hands. They'd actually have like a hand type thing at the end of their trunk, because they already have that as a manipulator, and that's what elephants use to paint. Yes, really, there's an elephant who painted a painting, basically. 
Granted, it wasn't exactly a Monet or something. Okay, this is a dolphin. And I chose this because I like this picture. But the point is, uh, 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 dolphins are actually have a higher, not all dolphins, only bottlenose dolphins actually have a higher intelligence than um, chimpanzees. So people say chimpanzees are the smartest animals. But that's out of sheer shamanism. These bottlenose dolphins are the second smartest of all um, animals. And um, they also have tool use, um, uh, cultures, culture. And what I mean about culture is there was an experiment where one dolphin tried to find her way out of a uh, out of a cage and it took her like a really long time and whenever they showed a new dolphin that wasn't allowed to wasn't in the same tank as her they always had the same problem with that same puzzle but if if they put it in with her tank first they actually did the puzzle much faster always so we're thinking that maybe dolphins actually communicate their th ideas to their to others, which basically means culture. But, and also about dolphins is that they actually recognize themselves in a mirror and they interact with, they, they act like, they, they don't interact with the mirror as a separate individual, like say parrots do. <laughs> but the, the real chapter is that if you actually put it, uh, a black dot on its forehead or something, it'll stay extra long to see the black dot, and they, and but just to make this clear, they they didn't do this when they saw another dolphin with that black dot. So with that science out of the way, number one is primates. Was there ever any doubt? Yeah, I know. I don't usually identify self identify myself as a primate. I identify myself as an arachnid. But my friends, most of my friends do can. Well, actually, no. I've told my friends I'm a spider. But most people, I don't know, identify me as, as a mam mammal, a primate, a human. So the thing about humans is that clearly they are the most te technologically advanced species on Earth. Uh, but the... Um, and the most prevalent, having encountered every habitat and... The only, dare I say it, the only multicellular species to uh, ever reach onto an, an alien surface. I say an alien surface because it has sent its, min this species has even sent its minions uh, into, into space. But only it has ever gone to an alien surface and still left its artifacts there in the form of a gigantic crater shaped like a shoe. But seriously, humans are cool. If you like this, and you, and you probably should, because I put humans on the top list. Ha ha ha, but no, seriously. If you like this list, please like, or, and so maybe subscribe for more. And um, if, you, if you think uh, I got this out of order, or I missed something you really, you guys really like, or, or frankly, you're annoyed about me clumping together the lizards, or ah, uh, um, or that there's something on this list that shouldn't even be here. Go ahead, comment, tell, comment, and tell me. So if you, so my name's been King Cadmos, and thanks for all the fish.